Welcome back to the shop. I'm Steve and I make everything. And today I want it to be a little bit selfish. I want to work on a project that's actually for me. And what I wanted to do is create a uh, painted version of my logo for my company. And I wanted to put it on a piece of ceramic tile and maybe put a frame around it at some point. Uh, just to have something to either hang on my wall so you know when people come into the shop they know where, I, where they are and uh, also if I do trade shows or anything then I can bring that with me and set it on, on the table or wherever I am and you know just again so people have some identity. So what I wanted to do is paint it as noted and uh, the challenge is it's a pretty intricate design it's only three colors uh, but it's there's a lot of letters and it's it's tedious and I, it's not going to be very big so painting it uh, certainly by hand with a brush is really formidable so what I wanted to do is engrave something and fill in the engraving with the appropriate color so that's what I'm going to do in this video and it should be pretty simple uh, and it's you know, hopefully something that you want to do as well. And you can do this with any logo or any image. It doesn't have to be ceramic tile. It can be on any material. So let's get going and I'll show you what I did. So I've got my image loaded into Inkscape. And again, this is a vector. It's, it's color, of course, because that's what we're trying to achieve. Now, a couple of things I'll call out here. Uh, what I did was put each color's uh, text or in this case a symbol uh, on one layer so I have a green layer a, a black layer and a yellow layer and you don't have to do this you, you can do this inside uh, inside the laser software at least with retina engrave if you're using a glowforge you can certainly do this if you're using uh, you know any other software you'll also be able to do something similar where you can select an individual element and, and just work with it uh, the last thing here uh, in this, uh, you know, dubious named layer one, uh, you'll see two red rectangles and the inner red rectangle is the dimensions of the tile that I, I want to cut and the outer dimension is, uh, well, just the outer dimensions of a shape. And what I want to do with this, with this red layer is I want to cut a jig so that uh, I know where I can drop my tile and have it reproducible position because for each one of these layers we're going to mask the tile, uh, cut it, paint it, and put it back in here and do the next layer. And in order to do that you need some pretty dead, deadly accurate alignment. So what I did was cut a piece of cardboard and I can show a picture up here where I can push you know, this corner into the upper left on my workspace so that I know exactly where it is. I, lay it, I just cut this out of cardboard, but I'll lay it down with magnets so it doesn't move around. And then I can just drop my tile in and, and do that. So there'll actually be two things here. There will be a jig that we cut and then we'll do the engraving on the tile. So that's it for Inkscape. Uh, I just literally imported a logo I had and drew some rectangles here to make a jig. And now I'll just export this as a PDF file, drop it into my laser software and do some engraving. Okay, just a little voice over here of what I'm doing. Uh, I have my piece of tile, you can see it there. I'm cutting a piece of masking off the roll and I'll just put a piece of it on top of the tile. Uh, cut roughly to size and in this case I can get two layers of masking out of this one slice so uh, set that one aside and lay down the masking here. Uh, you don't have to be very very precise you do have to make sure that you cover anywhere where there could be overspray with the paint it's really the masking is really for the paint not for anything else and then I use my bone folder to just kind of smooth it down. Uh, next, we paint the, or we engrave the first layer, which is the uh, pie, the yellow, the yellow pie. And uh, it will cut out fairly quickly. And uh, we did an outline here just to, uh, you know, get it right. And then I just sprayed it. I didn't show you the paint here, the spraying, but. We'll peel the masking off now and you can see we get a very nice uh, well-defined uh, pie slice and then we can lay down uh, on the next step 
uh, we'll lay down uh, another piece of masking and we'll cut out the what is the green which is the pi symbol and um, the word design down uh, on the bottom of the tile and again it's just we're just kind of repeating the same process here this one's a little more there's a little more detail in this one uh, it's just a bigger a bigger engrave now the pie is actually over top of the yellow so you might see that i put a piece of blue painters tape there as well uh, just to make sure that things are sealed up pretty well and there we have it where we'll spray it green now uh, again just very light layer you don't want it to to bleed underneath the tape uh, and even if you do a light coat first and then follow it up with a, with a heavier coat. Uh, so once it's dry, we peel off all of the remaining masking for the letters. And uh, it, you can see it's, I mean, these, are, these letters are only a couple of millimeters uh, thick, the line. So it is pretty precise. And, uh, you know, you can scrape off anything. It's tile, so anything you overspray will scrape off. But, uh, you know, it, it works. Do the, the next layer for our final black. Again, bone folder to kind of scrape out any of the air bubbles. Uh, do the uh, laser etching here for uh, the sliced pie word, which is a little bigger, and this will be the black. So again, you can kind of see the underneath the masking in the previous two layers. But, uh, you know, this one is, is done. We give it a quick spray uh, black and uh, that's it. I know this looks heavy on, on screen, but it's actually a very light spray. Uh, and then we let that dry and we're done. So that's it. I showed you how to lay this out. Start from uh, a vector image of, of, in this case, my logo, but you can use any logo you want and uh, lay it down and, and engrave each uh, layer individually, each color and fill it in and it involves a lot of masking, it's, but it's really not that much of a challenge. So, uh, you know, the, I'll post the, the picture up above here and you can see what the finished product looked like. I'm actually pretty happy with it. it you know, it's, it's always a challenge when you're spray painting on anything, it tends to bleed. So just having it masked and come out quite, quite well is, you know, exactly what I wanted. So, Hopefully you got something out of this video. As always, I'll put a video over on the side. And if you want to watch that, I'll see you over there. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, go make your world and give this a try. And I'll see you next time.